the last question of the of the session. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, I need to be. How many minutes? Uh, less than uh, twenty. Okay. Um, of course, for purposes of record, uh, kindly state your name and uh, uh, your address. Or, uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, good, e good evening to everyone. Uh, my name is Joseph Tardaris. I'm a uh, private citizen, a uh, concerned citizen, and I'm a business process analyst. Uh, today I will present uh, one issue and three, uh, uh, four possible solutions for our city moving forward. So good evening, uh, owners uh, and chairman, and the members and officers of the San Antonio Pumusol, and Baguio. And thank you for this opportunity to present and share my ideas. Sorry. Um, it, next, please. Today I will be uh, sharing um, with you an efficient way to manage traffic congestion, ways to connect the streets to people. Uh, next, next slide, please. And adding green spaces. Sorry, uh, technical difficulty. Technical difficulties. Okay. Okay. Traffic congestion. Uh, environmental impact of uh, traffic congestion. Uh, next, slide. next slide. Thank you. Um, Carbon footprint, it is common knowledge that motor vehicles uh, has a large carbon footprint measured from the moment it is built to the time it is sold to, and every time it is used to the time it, it is retired. Nowadays, different communities are committed in finding ways to reduce the car their carbon footprints. What is the city uh, of Baguio doing to help reduce its carbon footprint? It's building multi-level parking, uh, it's building a multi-level parking structures, a solution to reducing carbon footprint. Next slide. Here uh, shows the GHG, as you can see. Uh, next, please. Uh, here, SUV and pickup has a very high GHG. And just an FYI, majority of the vehicles used in, in the city is those two. Next slide. How to deal with uh, the truth? There is no fix to traffic congestion unless the national government passes a law that will stop the sale of motor vehicles. We all know that's going to be a difficult thing to do in the Philippines. So how do we deal with traffic congestion? Next slide, please. There are two available ways to deal with traffic congestion. Next. Increase capacity. Next. Or decrease capacity. Each of these op uh, options delivers a set of benefits and disadvantages. Next. Increasing capacity is all about increasing supply. Supply being road space or parking. More space will accommodate more motor vehicles. The disadvantage of increasing capacity, it creates an induced demand that doesn't exist before. When the road reaches its maximum capacity, traffic congestion will occur again. Increased capacity is a te temporary fix. It is like loosening your belt so you have more room for dessert. Next. Decreased capacity is all about reducing the number of vehicles on the road, sometimes called road diet. An example is reducing the number of vehicular lanes to reduce the number of users. Next. Um, as you hear, um, sorry. The automobile has emerged as a preferred form of passenger transportation as it offers flexibility and convenience. Next. More road users and poor road discipline contributes to congestion, particularly in urban areas like Baguio City. Increased road space reduces the cost of travel and delivers convenience. Convenience that turn more people to use more motor vehicles 
thus traffic congestion reoccurs. The reverse is also observed. Decreasing road capacity increases the cost of travel, so demand to, to use the road is reduced. The observation has been called traffic suppression or traffic evaporation. So the closure of a road or reduction in its capacity, example given, uh, reducing the number of available lanes, will result in the adjustment of traveler behavior to compensate. This adjustment will contribute to reducing the number of motor vehicles on our road. Next slide. The best way to deal with traffic congestion next, is to is, uh, next, uh, improve management. Next slide. How do we manage traffic congestion? What we can do? Define street use, instill order, reduce motor vehicle users, focus on people. First item, defining street use. Given that Baguio is in the state of overdevelopment, more buildings, more people, and less space, we can deal with traffic congestion by defining the use of each street so engineers can then properly do the geometric design of roads to improve management of vehicular flow. Next, identify which streets to be used for mass transit and ensure that these streets is accessible to commuters. The design must help make the mass transport run efficient. Identifying which streets to be used for delivery vehicles will help in separating this type of vehicles by allocating a transit lane. This type of street use can be time-bound to allow road use flexibility. Identifying streets used for emergencies will help our first responders reach their destination in the shortest possible time. Identifying streets for vehicles or other forms of active transport will be designed with safety as key element. Identifying streets shared with pedestrians will have proper markings called self-enforcing road markings or CERN to ensure pedestrian safety. Next slide. To reduce the number of motor vehicle users, next, we can achieve this through behavior of change. The behavior that we need to change is owning a motor vehicle is a necessity. We need to change this behavior to owning a vehicle is a luxury. To reduce the number of road users, we can trigger a behavior change through the following. We need to create new parking rules that will encourage people to use short-term parking space. Different rules will apply for senior and disabled users. Charging high parking fees will discourage motorists to park all day. This will improve the use and availability of parking spaces inside the CPD. Encouraging motorists to go slow when driving inside these designated go slow areas to keep pedestrians safe. This scheme can encourage redhead drivers to leave their cars at home and just take the public transport for a stress-free drive. Having an efficient mass transit will provide alternative means of moving people around the city. Having a safe place to bike or walk will provide alternative ways to, for people to move around the city. Next, please. Next. Focus on people. We need to connect the streets to people to promote a less stressful city. Why do we need to connect the streets to people? According to 2015 census, Baguio had a population of 345,366. Considering the total population of Baguio is more than 345,000, priority must be given on design's focus in moving people instead of cars. Baguio City is in a state of overdevelopment, more people, more buildings, more cars, and less available space. It is crucial that we have well-designed street networks because this is where urban life is going to happen. We need to redesign the streets, the way it functions, and the way it looks. In parallel to this, we will also need to look at impact to the larger transport network. Multimodal is several different modes of moving people or goods. We need to start promoting different ways to get around the city. Why is this important? With increased in population comes a higher demand on our streets. If the people can only use motor vehicles, then we will next slide. experience bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic all the time. This is when the system fails. Promoting the use of active transport like bicycles could be one of the many alternative ways to get around the city. 
All local government have a mission to help in reversing climate change, empowering people to leave their cars at home or encouraging the use of bicycles or making it safe and convenient for people to walk will help in lowering our carbon emissions to reverse climate change. It is not too late for Baguio City. We need to redesign the city streets so that it is a great place for people and not motor vehicles. Next please. Next please. This is a picture of a multi-level elevated highway in Shanghai, China. Does it look nice? Next please. Or would you prefer to see something more green? Next please. This is a multimodal hierarchy scene in Baguio City. It is crucial that we do a paradigm shift. Next. An inverted multimodal hierarchy. For a highly urbanized city like Baguio, the streets is where urban life is going to occur as the streets will become the extension of your homes and offices. Cars should no longer be the primary fa focus. The streets should be designed for the people. Cars will still be allowed on the streets, but they have to move safely and slowly. Next. The last item on the list of what we can do is still order in our streets. Have you noticed when you are caught in a traffic congestion that your mood changes? Traffic congestion can lead to drivers becoming frustrated and engaging in road rage. Having you, having you, have you encountered this scenario? When you are driving down Ben Palace Beach before Crystal Cave, you see motorists cutting in by using the space on your right. You see them merging down the road at Crystal Cave, Kitma Junction, and you still haven't moved because at the front of the traffic queue, a car stopped to give way to the motorists who cut in. How uh, have you been in a queue where people cut in the line? How did that make you feel? Going back to this photo, does this photo illustrate order? So how, how do we instill order and encourage motorists to be disciplined on our streets during traffic congestion? The answer is traffic calming. Traffic calming, it is the use of physical design and other measures to improve safety for motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists. It aims to encourage safer, more irresponsible driving and potentially reduce traffic flow. Next, please. Next, please. If we all agree that a paradigm shift is something that needs to happen, then we need to start focusing more on people rather than cars. A better way to achieve this is through traffic calming. To transition back into a traffic calm city, we developed a three-stage delivery approach to simplify the implementation and also help ease people to adapt to changes. The three-stage implementation needs to be done that follows the recommended order to ensure all changes suggested will work seamlessly. Stage one, making our roads smarter, is also known as Ordinance 73 Series 2012, uh, 2018 Smarter Roads. Making our roads smarter. The Baguio's first city green loop is an add-on to stage one. Here is the Baguio green loop. Next. The green loop is composed of a 2.3 kilometer walkway green space and two way bike lanes. The 2.3 kilometer pathway will provide a safe, less stressful, pleasing, educational, and scenic route that will connect places of interest for residents and visitors to see or visit. The furthest auxiliary path will be around 400 meters, which is equivalent to a seven minute leisure walk. There will be distance markers to inform the walker. Or not a runner of how much calories they have burned. Next, please. These are the places of interest covered. Next, please. These are the existing parking structures that residents and visitors can use, and these are the proposed location of the new parking structures. So, in the following slides, these are just sketch drawings that shows you. Can we go back? Uh, please. Session Road. Uh, the design is we're going to close half of Session Road. And there will be on that the half that we will close will have a bike lane and the uh, uh, greeneries. The other half will be designed to accept two-way uh, traffic flow, so up and down on the other side. So next, please. This is the uh, uh, upper session road. Will have a bike lane and the regular lane will be two-way. The sidewalk on the left side of the drawing will need to be widened. A six-inch safety barrier will separate the bike from the behavior lanes. Next, please. 
Uh, this is the hill station area, same design. This is the uh, Igrot stairs area. Uh, again, uh, similar design. There will be a back end and two. It's a two two way traffic. Next please. And this is uh, ah, this is the Igrot. Sorry. Next please. And this is Harrison Road. On the Harrison Road, on the side here near uh, Burnham Park, uh, we will have a two bike lane. Separating the bikes from the cars are a 16-inch high uh, barrier. Next, please. Stage two is all about moving people smarter. Making our public transport system to run efficient to encourage people to leave their motor vehicles at home. Uh, having a proper timetable will assist uh, commuters to plan their day efficiently. Relocating the PJ depots outside the area of the CBD will help in decongesting the seat the city center. We need to allocate spaces for use as taxi drop-off and pickup points. Uh, stage three, mass public transport. Stage three, uh, these are the list of proposals. And these are the proposed, oh, sorry. Uh, these are the proposed physical designs. Uh, next please. So next slide please. Okay, the Baguio City Center bus system. Bus operates will, uh, operators will be on a salary basis. There will be designated bus stops, use of bus timetable. Jeepneys will continue to operate outside the CBD area. Free and paid services. Jeepneys will be used to bring commuters to bus pickup points. Maintain using bus earnings, bus ads. Uh, yeah, maintain maintenance using bus earnings, bus ads, and parking levels. Propose. Uh, Propose, the proposal is that LGU to manage the, and administer the system, the bus system. Next, next slide, please. Uh, so the design of the public transport stops will be every 300 meters. Uh, next, please. Uh, buses will need to be uh, uh, PW compliant. The est estimate number of uh, buses will be 100 buses. So the computation is each route will operate for 18 hours per day. The city center bus system is composed of 14 routes. Each bus will do around 14 trips per day. Each bus driver will operate on the road for six hours per day only. Three buses to operate on each route per day. Uh, therefore, for, e for each day, we will need 42 buses to operate and three buses to serve as backup. There are two sets of 50 buses, which totals to 100 buses. So uh, the uh, set, uh, the 50 will operate a week. So every week, there will be different sets of buses. This is the proposed timetable. And next slide, please. Reduce vehicular density, uh, the benefits Reduce vehicular density to allow for pedestrianization of CBD. Help to decongest the CBD. Medium-sized buses can carry double the number of passengers than jeepneys. Buses will run on a set schedule to help commuters plan their trips better. If LG owns the system, the LG uh, interest is to provide service to the people. If private entity owns the system, the interest could shift to making profit rather than providing efficient and safe service to the people. Reduce the, the occurrence of long queues due to the larger capacity of the medium-sized bus. So given the double, it's basically moving people twice. The proposed routes. I have two slides here just to show to the council how it will work. The line that indicates there, that's the, uh, the, the bus routes. And this route is, uh, is 1.87 kilometers. So this route is from City Hall, PGH, via the Garda Road. The shaded part, uh, what you can see, is where the jeepneys will operate. So the way we our uh, proposal is there will be a, around a 400 meter buffer from every, uh, on the route. So it means that if you drop, if you get off the bus and you only leave 400 meters, you can actually just walk it. Next slide, please. This is a, uh, a route from Panatbenga Park, BGH, via Military Road. 
Again, the shaded part, that's where the jeepneys will operate. Next slide. Uh, this is a, uh, a design for a loop. This is the City Hall, Nagilian, and Queen of Peace Road. So in this design, there are two buses will operate. One bus will go through the Queen of Peace and the other one will go through Nagilian. So, and the route will basically allow for pickup and alighting of passengers. Next slide, please. Vision of the future. Impact, uh, next, next slide, please. Bagos overdevelopment brought overpopulation, traffic congestion, and environment degradation. The graph illustrates how our environment quality gone poor. The new graph illustrates the improvements this proposal can deliver to Baguio's environment. As you can, oops, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, next slide. Next slide. As you can see with the uh, proposal, the, num the use of motor vehicles is starting to go down. Population will just continue increasing. So this will cover the sustainability. Next slide, please. Community, community benefits. The social benefit, uh, benefit diagram illustrates the impact of each stage to the people of Baguio. Stage one, making our roads smarter, will streamline our road network to reduce the delays people experience. Stage two, moving people smarter, is delivering efficient jeepney and taxi processes to enable the people to plan their day better. Stage three, city center bus line is providing alternative mode of transportation in the CBD area so that people can leave their cars at home. Next slide, please. In this uh, slide, uh, I uh, believe everyone is aware of the data uh, assessment that they have done to the Baguio City. I basically, what I did is did a matrix and uh, see what are the uh, points that the NEDA raised that will be answered by, the, uh, by this proposal. As you can see, all the uh, issues raised by NEDA in their report are covered by our proposal. So. The Y indicates that uh, uh, the, the, the top, well, uh, top row uh, are the changes that we're uh, proposing, and the Ys indicate what are the issues that uh, identified that are being addressed. Next slide, please. Recapping. Making our streets smarter will ensure other uh, order rather than chaos when traffic congestion occurs. Using bicycles, rollerblades are great ways to promote wellness and help in reducing the city's carbon footprint. Defining the use of every street will help in improving the flow of traffic through creating vehicular zones. Designing Baguio's first city green loop is all about connecting streets to people to reduce carbon footprints and promote a less stressful lifestyle. Having a city center bus system will help in decongesting the CBD by reducing vehicular density through empowering people to leave their cars at home. Using our police resource to monitor the streets rather than spending so much time directing traffic flow. Making our streets vehicular, uh, sorry, vehicular queuing, uh, next slide please. Next slide. Uh, vehicular queuing or traffic congestion have been with us since the beginning of time. Queuing, there's no difference if it happens on the street while driving your vehicle or standing in line to order your food at McDonald's. Next slide. Considering Baguio's population is more than 345,000, a city that has originally designed for 20,000 people, it can't be helped that the city now has limited available space. Therefore, there's now the need to redesign the existing streets to be smarter and better. The streets will now be a place to witness urban life. Instilling order during traffic congestion by modernizing the streets using modern designs that promotes discipline. If the best we can do is only to react by widening streets or by adding elevated highways for every increase in vehicle density, then Baki will eventually become the city of roads and no longer the city of fines, and traffic congestion still continue going to happen. Um, these are just the, next slide. These are just the references we use. Next slide. SM parking system. As we all know, that uh, the SM parking system is create, generating a lot of congestion uh, during the opening hours or uh, in the middle of the afternoon. Next slide. 
impact to public roads, next slide, vehicular flow to SM car park causes traffic congestion in the area, generates pollution from cars idling waiting to enter the car park, additional city traffic enforcers needed to help mitigate traffic congestion at entry points to the car parks, creates inconvenience to other public road users, next slide. The solutions, Issue ticket only at entry considering SM only charges a flat rate applies to both car park entries. Parking payments will be done at exit of vehicle applies to all exits. No need for security checks at entry. New routing for old car park as per slides A and B which I will show you later. For the new SM car park when full, they need to place a barrier and large sign to indicate it is full. City traffic enforcers will need to issue infringement to motorists who obstructs the flow of traffic in Governor Park Road. Here is the proposal uh, for the entry of uh, the old entry for the car, car, car park. And the next slide is just the road changes to the public roads entering to uh, SM. So here in the design. Uh, we are moving away from the kasi madalas nagkakaroon ng congestion sa rotonde. So, if we stop SM from allowing visitors going in, only allowed in that entry will be delivery trucks, yung mga visitors of the shop, uh, SM can go actually on the other side, which is the Ikalaw uh, Street. That's where they can enter. Ngayon, if they, want to, if they need to wait, they can actually wait inside. And they're not waiting on public roads. And next slide. Thank you very much for your time. First, uh, we thank our guest, uh, Mr. Clavidadis. Uh, uh, would you want that you furnish a copy to us so that uh, it will be adapted uh, by the committee? It will aid uh, the committee in legislations of. Uh, uh, those precious uh, suggestions and studies that uh, you have made. Can you have you presented that to the executive branch? Uh, not, uh, not yet. Uh, can you do that also so that uh, we can really um, solve the... Uh, sir, I'm um, still waiting for Engineer Telefania to make the book. I already spoke to them, sir. Yes. But that was last year. But you should uh, present it. Them and, uh, yes, sir. Uh, when I spoke to, as I spoke to Mr. Pelopena, he said uh, he plans to have it presented during the uh, Monday's executive legislative meeting. Uh, meeting, so everyone can see it. Okay. But I, no bookings yet. Uh, that was said to me last year. You just furnished them first, the copy. Uh, yeah, I actually presented them a video. Okay, so we thank you very much. Uh, is there any clarification from? Uh, the members of this August body. Yes, Honorable Tabanda. Okay, clarification, but the word of commendation because as a private citizen, I think you have no interest to enter into any contact with the city. Uh, it's just your. Mahal po ang pito. Thank you. <laughs> so, I think it's your, you think it is part of your duty as a citizen to come and present this. It is well researched and very, very informative. So, thank you, and I think we, have, we should have more citizens like you. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma I'm happy to help, and uh, as I mentioned to Ma'am Thompson Brown as well, uh, ma as a phone call away, I'm happy to uh, help in the details, etc. I mean, same with uh, my uh, mom, Mirana. Um, we've helped with the uh, stage one of the Smarter Road, so. Yes, yes the role of the role. I join uh, maybe I think uh, all the members of the city council have the same sentiment that uh, for you to sacrifice your time and uh, talent. But anyway, uh, I see I see the uh, I see this uh, uh, your uh, uh, suggestion. It is just like uh, the uh, strategy of the mayor of Bogota. That, uh, he makes it difficult for uh, motorists, and that's why they're in Bukota. They never widen the roads. They will make it uh, difficult for them. So, as you said, uh, uh, the focus is on the people. 
not only motorists but as of now uh, people buy cars uh, and make it as a necessity because the public transport is not working for me and maybe you could also consider I don't know if uh, uh, if bicycle lane is uh, applicable because I don't know if uh, you you uh, look at the topography of the city of Baga. I don't know if how many people will uh, buy uh, bicycles even if uh, you provide a bicycle lane. Uh, actually, sir, uh, a bit uh, touch with the uh, bicycle groups. Um, 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 processor is that then suggest what routes to take and then it's up to the city to check the land. Pwede ba doon? And if not, what can we do? to accommodate them. Uh, the 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 top the you know, has to go back to the bicycle groups. Which I already started talking to them. But uh that's correct sir. Kaya, uh, in, I engage them kasi nga, uh, the input would be more valuable if it's coming from them rather than like me, than Pihira Magisicleta. And also for eventually, in the future, in my concessionary Sabana Park, that, that can, there's also, with the city green loop, there's opportunity to extend them there. Kasi nga, you know, we, we have tourists, they want to see around, you can hire a bike. You can go around. Uh, and the students to uh, yes. ride to school for the bike. Yeah, right. Anymore? You're not going to go Thank you, uh, uh, Joseph, for the passion to uh, help. Uh, of course, we have seen and we have uh, seen the presentation and there are things that I believe uh, can be adapted and uh, workable here in the city of Papio. That's why uh, in my speech during this morning, I guess I we have that to way. bring out the best. Uh, <laughs> I agree, sir. That's why we are. You're bringing your best. Okay. Yes, sir. So thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, this one we will be presenting to the uh, uh, engineering office for consideration. We have a management team, a traffic care team that sees all these things and uh, some of your uh, proposals like the uh, loop that I saw there that's what we were talking about discussion actually okay. how to relocate the uh, cheapness at least outside the central business district or the a certain portion of the CBD if we cannot relocate them in the periphery of the city so it could be something that we Maganda yung yung loop uh, service, uh, baka pwede, pwede yun. So, yung ruta lang, yung ruta. Yes, yeah, that, that's correct, sir. So, thank you very much, sir. Uh, Joseph? Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, yes. The last one in connection to what Councillor Propaganda has made mention a while ago. Uh, there is this association of school heads and school administrators and part of the agreement with our committee is to uh, conduct uh, transport education among students. Uh, timely because part of your presentation is all about behavioral patterns. So probably uh, we could invite you one time to come up with a uh, customized uh, presentation for for learners in the city of Papua. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Any more? I see none. We thank, of course, our guest, uh, Mr. Clavinatis. Cla and uh, of course, as manifested by members of this August body, they are very much uh, uh, supportive of uh, those uh, that you have suggested to us. We, give, we will give copies to the chairman of the committee on uh, traffic and legislation, and it will be a guiding point uh, in, 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 in their committee. Well, um, thank you very much for the opportunity and for the time. As I said, I mean, uh, I, I charge very expensive. So thank you. It's uh, yeah, thank good. You. And uh, yeah, um, and I'm just a phone call away. I'm happy to 
to, to, to share my ideas. Uh, uh, even with the CEO, if, you know, quite happy to... Yes, anytime they really invite you. Uh, so with that, uh,